Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. And... Algae, Abyssalite... We've got loads of stuff in here. Phosphorite. Huh. Right, well, we got... I, algae, can I... No, you turn slime into algae, but I don't think you can turn algae into slime. I don't think you can, anyway. Uh, I'm not really sure. Right, we're hovering on a quarter of a million calories. We've got to keep an eye on our calorie count. We don't want that to go too high. I like that the water in here is now... Like, the steam is condensing. The temperature is starting to come down in this region. Sort of. Um, the steam is slowly condensing in there. It's dribbling its way down through. And we will eventually fill up this bit here with enough water. Um, and everything should be all tickety-boo. And... Unreachable. Alright. I'll add in one of them, and then I will go with a tile here, and here, and here, like that. That should allow everything to go through. Okay, so then I'm going to need, I want to change over to mesh tiles. Now, we're going, we've got gold amalgam, we've got 62,000, we've got, that's decor plus 10% in there, so I'm thinking I'm going to go with that one. I mean, plastic tiles increase the run speed plus 50%, decor plus 5, mesh tile Decor minus five. They don't like that. So if I was to have a window tile. Airflow. Decor minus five. Right. They don't particularly like these. Decor minus five for a ladder. All oh, right. Increases duplicate climbing speed. Now I have got 33,000. Um... Is that... Well, if we assume that that's kilos, I've got 33 tons of plastic, which is pretty good going, really. So, I mean, I can use some ladders in here, but it's it's the flooring. Now, there is... Oh, it's carpet tile. Carpet tile, run speed minus 25, decor plus 20. So, those are really good. Everybody seems to like those. And then we've got mesh tiles. So, we're going to want to limit the mesh tiles that we have. So, we're going to put... We're going to use gold because that's decor plus 10%. That's... Oh, or copper. I don't have a lot of copper ore. We'll use gold amalgam. So, I'm going to do these over the sides like this. They're going to go all the way down through to there. Not going to go any lower than that. I don't know if these bedrooms are going to be big enough yet. I've, I've still got to... What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to build a bedroom up on the top here and then we will make the decision as to how much bigger and what other areas and so on we need for more bedrooms after this bit. So I can now mop everything out of here. That's all done. Um... Wherever we have the bottom part of the base, we will seal it off. It will then become the base. Uh, we'll have a ladder here for climbing up and down. And so this area can stay and sort of be separate. And then we'll put oxygen generation machines in underneath here. And then the oxygen and hydrogen can flow up through. And I'm going to need to have a vent just to pull... Oh, that, re that only releases. It doesn't allow suctioning out. So I might actually want to put machinery there and go, yes, that's what we'll do. We'll put machinery up here and we'll put the next layer down. Now, what I could do is I could push this insulated tile region up a bit higher. Now, that's not a bad idea, actually. That is a good idea. Right, we will do that. We'll push that up a bit higher, and then we've got more room to play around in this bit. So I'll go over to here, to there, like that. I'm going to dig that lot out, right there. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do... Uh, this is just going to be... 
This is going to change to regular tiles on here. It's going to go all the way along like that. And then one, two, three, four, and regular tiles. No, that's going to be insulated tiles from there. So I'm going to want the insulated tiles to go out from that point right there. Which means that this bit needs to just be filled up and then gotten rid of. So I'm going to bring that all the way along like that. And then that's going to be regular tile up to there a minute. And then I'm going to go insulated tiles. How am I going to do this? I'm going to insulate the tiles along that line. And I don't need to worry about any more in here. I, I, I kind of want a double layer of insulated tiles. So I'm going to do a, a line of insulated tiles up to there. I'll do another one over here. And... And I can start, like, delivering stuff into here. And then there's going to be a second line of insulated tiles in there. So I'm also going to dig that bit out from there. And they will dig this over. See, they've already gone and put in the regular tiles into there. And as soon as they've just finished that bit, I can then take regular tiles again. And do another line all the way along like that. Which they will go and um, change over. And then I'll do a line of insulated tiles here. That needs to be insulated tile in there as well. That one does. And that one does. Like that. It can't quite reach that bit up there. But I can change that over. Because I can do some ladders up here like this. I do that, they'll be able to reach everything up on the top. These guys over this side, they're very, very industrious and they're doing everything that I want them to do. We're picking up some stuff, we're delivering granite. I like the way that it pushes everything upwards. It's quite crucial and important. We just need them to finish delivering into there. As soon as they've done that, I'll be able to go and... Actually, I'm going to insulate a tile for the next level. This is now filled up completely, that's good, which means that this area in here is sealed away. I will insulate this tile down here so that that keeps the temperature separate from the rest of the region. And I'm also going to go up there by a couple of tiles and insulate that wall as well. So if we go and take a look at the temperature overlay, Abyssalite has got a fairly good... a uh, fairly a uh, good insulating um, property anyway. It, it, it seems pretty good at doing um, full-on installation up through... Uh, installation? Insulation up through there. You're in here. This, this is all finished. Which means that I can then take some insulated tile and run that right the way along there. Fan schmastic. We've got a load of water in here that's dribbling down really fast. Everything is set in here as I would like. I'm going to bring you up like that by three blocks. So now, once I've gotten everything in there, I'll be able to clear out this space up here, which is, that's the plan on this. We got, we're going to go four high. I've actually gone one high too many on there, haven't I? A little bit carried away with that. Oh, it's too late now. It's done. Right. Well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that bit. So this bit under here, once they've done that, I can then dig all of this out. And that can be machinery, which means that this layer in here can actually be bedrooms. So I will also start working on the bedrooms. How am I going to have the bedrooms? Furniture. Furniture in here. We've got a comfy bed right here. That one is that big. Now, I'm going to take that one, one back from the wall, and I'm going to place that one down there. For a bedroom, uh, a single bed, and a decor item. That's all it needs. A single bed and a decor item. It literally doesn't need anything else at all quite happy with that. I'm more than happy with those conditions to be met. Insulated tile right here. Let's put another lot of insulated tiles in there so that they that sort of doubles up and becomes 
super insulated. I'm also going to super insulate this bit in underneath. So there's a double layer of tiles in there. Uh, I actually went too high on that bit because I need to dig this out. I didn't need to go up full four high on there. Uh, but, you know, that's that's fine. That's, that's not going to make a, a, a grand amount of difference in here. Let me just do that bit. So, you in this side. I then want to go to furniture. And we want corner molding. And I want to put one up there. And then I want to... Right, I need a decorative item. So that decorative item can be a portrait canvas, a landscape canvas, a uh, metal block right here. This seems to be the biggest one, it's plus 20, or the marble block in there, which is plus 20, radius 8, plus 20, radius 8, decor plus 50% if I use gold. So I use gold for this one, and I pop that one down there. I'll have a little bit of a gap, like that, and then I will put a doorway back over here. So I've got that metal block being put up there. Uh, then I'm going to go back with furniture, and I'm going to take a corner molding, and that one's going to go there. It must be built in a corner, so I can't actually build it where I am right now. Plastic tiles are decor plus 5%. Metal tiles are decor plus 15%. Carpet tiles are decor plus 20. So I'm going to want some carpet tiles under here. Leave those two back there. And put a carpet tile. I'm going to need reed fiber. I've got reed fiber. That's fine. Granite for plus 20%. Two, three, like that. Actually, change all of the floor, like that. All of the floor will be that one. And then I will also go to furniture down here. And I will have crown molding. That's going to go across the top, like that. And then we're going to go with the base in here. So metal tile appears to be the best possible tile that I can use. I could put some plastic tile down, but metal tile does actually appear to be the best one that I can get for maximum decor value. Unfortunately, though, it's a hundred metal, and that's a lot of metal that I would need to use. So put that up there. I'm going to go with some plastic tiles. I haven't actually tried that yet. So we'll put some plastic tiles. We're going to run that down here like this. To... Down to there. Plastic tiles all down that side. We've got carpet tiles in under the bed. We've got these bits. We've got the metal block that's needing to be built. We'll take plastic tiles here and we will drop one and two down like that carpet tile is going to go there and then i'm gonna want a bathroom so what have i got in the way of a bathroom mess hall bedroom barracks washroom right here latrine morale one morale two flush toilet plumbed wash station and that's it okay don't need anything else so, a shower room, a miscellaneous room. Is there any kind of shower room? There's a hospital, a power plant. Enables power control station use. Generators built within a power plant can be tuned up using power control stations to improve their power production. Ah. I didn't even know that was a thing. Recreation room. We've got a recreation room. We've also got a massage clinic. We've got a couple of those. Great hall, bedroom, washroom... Uh, using a toilet in a closed room will improve morale. Washroom is plus two. Flush toilet. Plumbed wash station. No outhouses. So, the use of a shower... Is that required or what? What's, what's the deal with using showers? Have a look. Right. Improves duplicate morale. Shower. It improves morale. How does it... Uh, regular showering prevents you from spreading germs and things they touch. 
secures sopping feet, uh, sopping wet and soggy feet morale plus three when they use it. Right. So I want to put a shower and a toilet in here, and I kind of want that as a shared feature. So I'm going to go with. I don't. Well, I don't know. I'm. I'm hoping that I can have this class as a a shared event in here. So we've got a lavatory in here. There, and a shower is going to go in there as well, and we're just gonna like have a gap like that, and then we'll go here, we'll go with a plastic tile, and we'll drop that one in there. And then we've got mechanized airlock, decor minus 10, this one is decor minus 15, this one doesn't have a decor value, so pneumatic door seems to be the preferred option out of these and then you got decor plus 10 with gold amalgam if we go and use or gold uh, copper i'll use the gold amalgam in here it's as soon as it saves there we go right gold amalgam for that one you're gonna go there and you're gonna go there we're going to take metal tiles Although I'm, I'm going to need to put some mesh tiles in here. So I've got two lots of mesh tiles there. I'm going to want to put some mesh tiles in here. And so I'm thinking one, two, three. Actually, we'll go all mesh tiles in this room. So we just go another little bit underneath. And then we go back to furniture. Down here, and I will take... Well, well, first I want to get the comfy bed. So I want the second one of these. And this time I'm going to leave a gap of three. I'm going to put the bed there. I can't move it round. So I can put that one down there. And then I will go here with a metal block. Again, that's going to be gold. That one's going to go right there like that. And then I'm going to go uh, corner molding here. That one's going to go that way. Corner molding up there. Here and here. We're going to go into base. Plastic tile. And that's going to go there with the plastic tile. And that's the room done. I will scrap that planned build and I'll take plastic tile here uh, run that all the way along there get rid of those two go back to furniture in here and I will go with crown molding and it's going to go across the top there it can't go where the shower is that's fine this can go over that far like that and then I can take the corner molding as they're just putting in the plastic now that one, rotate that round and that goes in there like that. Right. Then I want to go to base and I want to take the carpeted area and that's going to go across like this to there. Uh, no, it's uh, one too far, that one is. And then I will go here and I'll take a mesh tile right there and that's gold amalgam for that mesh tile and that's going to go in there like that to finish that bit off so then we're gonna repeat this all the way down so what's this made out of mesh tile iron ore right that's got to be lifted that's all got to be taken out i got unrefrigerated food That'd be because we have power problems, I suspect. We want nutrient bars in here. We will take those, print. Uh, yeah, we have power problems. I've got duplicates in here that are running around. I'm using up my calories too fast. We have a problem. We are eating our calories too quickly. We're not able to have enough calories coming in just yet. I want more shove voles. Now, I've got another shove vol or two kicking around, but what I really want to do is expand this shove vol farm a little bit so that all I need to do is get some some of the shove vols in there. That's full of granite. Well, I need to get some of these shove vol eggs. I just need to get them incubated. 
that's all. I only need to incubate them a little bit and that's it. So rather than worrying too much about those, what I could do instead, I have got a shove vol up there. I'm going to leave him. These guys keep coming in here and they're, they're whistling them over and they are sort of helping these. He's glum, he's hungry, they do slowly see starving time until death 9.7 cycles. Uh, so they do give money, we do get money. If we have a look at the calories up here, we've got frost buns, fried mushrooms, nutrient bar, lettuce and muckroot at the moment. So most of our current calorie count is frost buns. When the animals starve to death, you do get food from them. And that's the idea of the farm that we've got going here as well. These guys, they're hungry. They are slowly starving. We've got some food coming from them. Not masses of food. Uh, if I go to consumables, right in here, I need to have a look and see that we're not eating. So those Paku fillets, we're not eating any Paku fillets. We are eating frost buns. When we've got some of these other things available, we're going, we're eating those as well. I've got meat right there, which I'm not eating. Uh, nutrient bar, morale minus one. What do I do with that then? Lice loaf. Assuming I'm eating the stuff that we get given. Cook fillet of freshly caught paku. Uh, we've got the barbecue, the cooked meat of a defeated critter. Spicy tofu. Yeah, that's right. That's okay. So we, we've got barbecue being made. Um, it should be. At least it should be. If we look in here. We've Yeah, there's the barbecue there. That's on a permanent. Keep making it. So I'm just waiting for materials on that. Nothing else that I need to concern myself with. I'm just waiting for some materials. So if we go back up to here, I would like to... We've got a critter drop-off thing there. I don't need that one. And I've got a storage bin here, a load of granite. I Technically, I don't need that one either. Uh, I would like to have an incubator in here. And I'd like it to actually do some work just for a little bit. So let's have a look at the temperature. Right, that's just vacuum in there. It's 85 degrees on these metal tiles right here. So it's not all bad. This one is critter drop-off. I'm going to decon... No, I'm not going to deconstruct that one yet. We go to food in here because that's where the critter stuff is. And I'm going to have critter drop-off. And I'm going to put the crater drop off over on that side over there. Just leave it there so that doesn't actually change at all. Then we go back to food and I want an incubator. Except that I can't have the incubator to start with. I need to put down a couple of insulated tiles. And these insulated tiles have got to be obsidian. If they're not, then those things can dig right through them. And I don't want them to dig through them. So I've got to have obsidian on there. I'm going to priority nine these. I'm going to put one here, one here. And I can't put one there for a second. I'm leaving that one because I want to be able to copy the settings on it. That's all. And I'm going to take power over this way. We've got heavy watt conductive wire. Which is stuff that we're already using. I'm going to use iron for this one. And that's another priority 9 setting. That is going to go over this way. It's going to go there. And it's going to go up to that point. And I'll stop it there for a minute. Uh, this critter drop off. That one can go to a priority 9. Although they're already coming over and doing it. Okay, so now I can go there. And I can copy settings. And I can paste them onto there, which means I can then go to you and I can deconstruct that building right there. And I will then be able to build the incubator in here. At least that's what I'm hoping. I will go with this. And I've got the obsidian on a level 9. That one's going to go in there. 
Now I'll go to food and I'll go to an incubator and I will be able to... Actually, I don't need three blocks of tiles in there. I'm going to put that one down there. This one I can cancel. Like that. And I can just have this power lead. Wait, there's one thing I do need to do. Cancel that build. Back to food. Go to the incubator. Uh, decor plus 50%. Iron overheat plus 50%, uh, plus 50, overheat plus 50, overheat with gold plus 50, steel, if I could make steel, or if I could have another 100 steel, that would be an awful lot better, wouldn't it? I've only had 100 kilos of steel so far, I haven't had anything else I can use it with. I need to make some steel, that's what I need to do. Right, well, as I can't go and make anything else, uh, the overheat temperature plus 50, we will run it with that, and we'll drop you in there like that. And then I'll take power over here, heavy watt conductive wire, that's overheat plus 50, that's fine. So then you're going to go in there and connect in. Uh, you are priority 9 as well. I should, hopefully, get several more... Um, shove voles be built, uh, be hatched out and go into here. I don't know how well this is going to work. It's like I got the metal tile around, I got the insulated tile here, so I'm kind of hoping that they stay reasonably away. It, it does depend on how much heat they generate in here. That's going to be quite a crucial aspect of this. Um, I'll let them just finish building that a second up there while I take a mosey on down this way and take a look here at what I've got. So I've got comfy beds. These are unassigned at the moment because they're outside of the base areas and I uh, this isn't plumbed in. I've still got a load of work to do there, I, but I kind of need to like address the food problem. The food problem is becoming a problem. It's likely to become a much more serious problem. I've got lots of polluted oxygen up there. That's good. We've got algae here and here. Hoping these guys can just kind of keep doing what they're doing. I've got five of them in here. I'm going to leave them for a minute and I'm not going to get involved. Right, over this way. So i got no egg selected. That incubator is set on that stone. Smooth. Pufflets, larvies, glossy drecklets. Shove, vole, egg. Incubate. Right in there. And that one's got to be a priority nine. So what they do is they will bring an egg and they'll put it in here. And then they also come up to this one and they really look after it here. So I've got meat there, 9,500. So someone, one of these starved to death. They don't eat the meat. So it, there's no problem with that. They come along and they gather it up themselves. He's picking up two, what is that? Is that kilos? Grams. Nine says ten, 10 kilos, I think, there. I, I don't know. Right, you. Skill required operation awaiting delivery. There, right. So I've got that one. Every time they come along and they hug the incubator. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.